heard a very loud noise uh, coming from the entrance of the building and come to find out it was a car that drove in reverse into the building. That's when Nathan Holt snapped this photo of the scene. With his 18-month-old son with him at the Greenbush Payless store, he says he's thankful things didn't turn out worse. Pretty much hit close home because I probably about 45 seconds before the car hit, I was in that area. A day later, the broken doors have been boarded up and the produce section is put back together, but shoppers are still talking about what happened. I heard a person got a little cut, that's all, but I hope the lady who was driving the car was okay. You can see the tire marks here on the floor in the produce section where King's car finally came to a halt. Now several question whether an 84-year-old woman should be behind the wheel of a car. A person should stop driving if they can't walk into the store or get around by themselves. I think everybody has concerns about a variety of people driving, but age definitely has to play a factor in it. You know, she's park pulling out of a parking place backwards and, and runs into a building, you know, then you understand why they shouldn't be driving. But others say it's unfair to take an elderly person's independence away. All ages should be able to drive. I don't have a dispute about that at all. That independence is hard to give up. Um, when you're used to just hopping in the car and going somewhere. At the Area 4 Agency on Aging, Transportation Coordinator Stan Minnick says elderly drivers should be looked at on a case-by-case -case basis. He says if you have concerns about a loved one, examine their car for dents or keep an eye on them when you're in the passenger seat and talk to them about options if you're concerned they shouldn't be driving. Be prepared to offer them um, alternatives for transportation. Above all, everyone who spoke with News Channel 18 said they're glad no one was seriously injured in this incident.